hello guys in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to create and um, place windows that are compatible with some slanted walls for example now if i'm to click on this one now and go to this cross section and change it to slanted and slant it at 45 degrees now and i carry a regular revit window and place here you'll notice that the window will just place on like place vertically upwards despite the fact that this wall is slanted so i'm going to show you guys how to create your own window to your custom made wall face based window okay so we're going to just delete this one so to do that we are first going to go to files then we're going to create a new family so under this family you look for generic based face based generic model face based okay so we're now going to click okay all right so the first thing we are going to do is to change this family category to windows so even though it's a face based generic model it's still a window face based generic model you get it so after that we are going to go and draw reference planes rp are shortcut rp we're going to just draw some vertical ones then draw some horizontal ones okay so we're now going to after doing that the next step is to create dimensions annotate go to this aligned and dimension it the three lines then dimension the outer one we dimension for the other side the three lines then we dimension the other one and keep okay so we're now going to click on this dimension and equal it using that small eq icon eq and text on the dimension and equal it so it means these two sides are equal so we're going to click on this dimension and um, create a parameter for example a parameter meaning we are going to create this parameter as the height of the window H -I -G -H -T, a window height let's just name it okay you can name it height height is okay so we're going to do the same for this one and name it the width okay we we'll click okay okay so that's it and done we're now going to create if create a void form using void extrusion so we're going to create the void form and just draw it immediately we draw it we then lock it to this reference lines we lock it okay locking it is important though except you don't want it to be adjusted so we click OK. So we're now going to go to our properties browser and go to this left elevation, for example. So the void is currently cutting outside the wall. So we're going to make sure it cuts within the wall. So just because, okay, there is no wall that can, okay, let's just make it minus 900. So to make sure the void is cut good enough to cut a lot of walls. So we're now going to go to 3D view and we're going to use this cut geometry tool and select the wall then select the void to cut it okay so that's it and all. we'll go back to the reference plane so we're now going to click create now to create our window frames so you doing this we're going to use the regular extrusion now and we're first going to draw a box bam then we're now going to lock it okay <clears throat> sorry i have a cough so we're then going to create our monuments let's just use 50 millimeters 50 millimeters offsets then we're going to create a central one central monument just to make it not too simple okay and we're going to use 25 mm but you don't need to create this central one. I just I'm just doing it just because I want it to have a little bit of touch. Then I'm just going to modify and trim the whole window. Just cut here, then I'll start trimming. Okay. So after that is done, another important thing to do is to go to dimension click on align the dimension from this reference line to this inner line one now i've done for this side we'll do for here too from the 
reference line then this one then again from here from the reference line then this one which one is left again done here here yeah, okay I haven't done this side from the reference line then here okay then we're now going to lock these dimensions lock 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 and lock okay so also for this middle line we're just going to use this dimension create another dimension to lock it here 25 25 from this middle and we're now going to lock it up okay we're going to lock this one up so we're going to click good so we're now going to go to our left elevation and make sure that the and let's just use minus 150 as the frame window frame depth okay let's use um minus 25 minus 175 okay so okay let's just use from zero and minus 175 okay so we're going to now edit this the change change this to a parameter then we're going to create a new parameter let's name it wall depth okay so we can adjust it per the thickness of the wall okay so that said and done we'll go back to reference plane we're also going to apply materials to this and we're going to create a material and name it let's okay sorry let's name it duplicate then name it my white window frame okay then you select this tab and change the material let's go to metallic materials metallic paint and use um, okay let's use polished silver okay that is okay graphics select use render appearance okay good to go so if you go to this place now now we have selected this you can as you can see we are selected you can go to this family types and edit this height just flex this height now you see what will happen for example the height is 8 cm let's change it to 1 2 you see it has adjusted let's increase the width to 1 5 2 see it has adjusted and everything is just flowing well let's we can reduce it back to 900 and reduce this one now to one two okay and click okay so it's just to flex so we're now going to create the um, window glass we're going to use extrusion again then we're going to just create this basically boxes lock 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 as far as we are locking this now it will as far as the other parts are adjusting as far as we have locked it to the components that are locked to the reference line all of them will be adjusting together so we're going to click it lock 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 the box click okay so we're now going to change go to this left elevation to see what we're doing as you can see this glass doesn't make sense as a glass so we're going to change it to minus 25 extrusion starts minus 25 and minus 50 okay so we're now going to then change the material to and duplicate this one to my window glass okay and i'm going to click appearance and go to glass and click on blue glaze then click apply okay we are going to edit the graphics okay it's reuse render graphics that is important so it will be visible and shaded okay we have successfully created the window we are going to load it to project and do you want to save changes to family yes i want to save it let me name it tutorials face based window 
Okay? Then we save it. Okay? And we go to 3D view. And we place... Now the window is now in our window family. So if I click escape and I click window, you see it is just there. So we just place it. Okay? So you see we have just placed it. We can adjust the parameters here. We click edit type. As you can see, you see those parameters I uh, created, the height, the width. So we can change the height to the width to 1.2 meters and change the height to 1.8 meters.